a second rule, bro. <laughs> so, so, what is happening YouTube? Um, I do have an array of topics that I've got planned to cover. So, basically, today, we will do a push session. It's my push rotation V. Um, so I will go through exactly what I do and how, and my reasoning, my full process behind training right now. So you'll get a bit of an in-depth how to hit your push and still get most out in prep. So it's exactly three and a half weeks out actually now. Um, time is flying, things are moving, things are looking good, things are looking promising. So definitely a lot going on to be honest. I've just had this weekend gone, as you will have seen from previous videos, 21 clients competing one weekend. Um, two overall wins, nine wins in one show, which is absolutely fucking amazing. And a lot of these athletes will be competing at Arnold's as well. Well, a lot, pretty much all of them. Um, so I am expecting some great results as they're all going to be even better for Arnold's because that's what was always the initial plan anyway. Um, so definitely looking forward to it. For now, just getting Meg's pre-workout meal ready, which is going to be cream of rice. She's actually having a high day today, um, two high days back to back, which is always how I roll with things when it comes to refeeds. Um, which I have covered in previous videos, so give that a fucking watch, just so you know. So I'm gonna get this done. Um, my my pre-workout meal is pretty much ready, so I'll get this done. We'll go and get a Starbucks for me, Carl, and Meg, and then we'll get back. I'll probably do 40 minutes on my J3 University uh, on my course that I'm doing. Get pre meal ready and get after it. But in between, I will definitely take you through some. Uh, Info nuggets for you to learn, guys, and take away um, for your own process in the game, which I'm very much looking forward to, guys. So, yeah, happy fucking days. instructions for cream of rice she likes it I, I like it quite smooth but she likes it a mixture between in between a cake and in between smooth so I have to like time it perfectly when I'm cooking it for her every single time and this is pretty much uh, Meg's favorite texture so today I'm actually gonna go through plans for myself and Meg what we've got planned for this year come in the video then what are you doing standing there like a do you know what I mean <laughs> Show us, show me teeth. She's got her braces off. Show me teeth. Yeah. <laughs> See that? She had braces all that time. Now her teeth are gone. She looks like she's got veneers. Beautiful teeth. Good ones. So we're going to go through a bit of a plan. Um, what we have planned for this year and what we have planned for future as well. Um, we'll keep you posted as well because obviously there's going to be a lot more YouTube content coming through uh, from both of us. For our off season and prep, and a reminder of the prep, uh, she's actually going to compete in Budapest two weeks after my show. So we are gonna document all that for you guys. Um, my show is only gonna be Arnold's this year. So I'm not gonna be any more shows because my reason for that is I'm not where I wanna be and I'm not competitive to the point where I'm gonna be taking places that I want. And for me to be competitive, I need time off and it's gonna be same with Meg. So this year for both of us is basically seeing what we need to do and where we need to be and how long we potentially need off to be competing and be competitive at the level that we want to be at. And basically we want to be going to these shows knowing that we're contenders, not just uh, competing for sake of competing. Can I add to that? Yeah. I think lots of people- Just compete um, for sake of competing. No, not really compete for the sake of competing. I think lots of people are under an illusion, especially within the Pro League, that you have to be known or you have to make your name to be able to be competitive you make your name by going there and having a physique that's worthy of having a name at that show it's like every competition that i've been to or that i've watched online since i've started competing especially within the pro league the person who had the best physique wins and i think it's a it's a big thing that bikini girls think that they need to go and do millions and millions of shows and get coached by certain groups um because that's how they're gonna win a show like you need to have a good physique the way that you're gonna do that is having an off season and that's how you're gonna build your physique up so don't get sucked into the idea that you need to do millions of shows to make a name or millions of shows to get a place in like 
you can get you can do millions of shows and, and build up points to be able to go to the Olympia. Fair fair dues, but like for me and like for the majority of the competitors that I know and speak to on a on a regular basis, like you need to go to a show and you need to have a physique that is worthy of a top place and that is how you will get it, not by having a name and doing millions of shows. So go and have an off season, do a proper shift on getting some proper muscle put on and, and then be worthy of winning a show. Yeah, she absolutely nailed that. But the problem is, is something that definitely we differ at between uh, a lot of people and the, the most successful people in bodybuilding generally do um, see the big difference in is who enjoys the off season and truly enjoys bodybuilding. Like we love every part of it. We love the part, part right now where it's hard to stand up properly. <laughs> we love that pit. We love that part. But we also love an off season. Like for us, like some people need to compete to stay on track for us it's actually opposite it's actually easier for us to stay on track year round because it's just what we do that's the lifestyle we live and that's obviously something that we want to share with you guys for your reference for you to actually see what it takes and that's exactly what we are going to show you throughout this prep and throughout this off season is what it takes to be you know competing at the highest level with bodybuilding so that's exactly what we're going to show you throughout this prep and off season and I'm definitely excited to show you all the in all the ins and outs. For now it's gonna get a coffee. Um, I think we'll definitely need one. As possible so that I can prep my meals today for tomorrow. So normally every single day my work day starts at pretty much five AM. As soon as I wake up, get on the work phone. Um, and then just get shit done. So I generally finish by like 11 and then just whatever else I need to get done, I get done, I get done. Um, by 11, I always try to spend an hour learning something new. So obviously I'm going through the course right now. Um, but yeah, definitely something that I feel like needs to be kept up year round. Luckily enough, I've got a partner that also likes going to bed at like 8 p.m. So literally right now, we're in bed no later than half past eight every single day which to be honest I like. Um, I didn't used to be like that, but Meg always used, always has been like that because of her background. Obviously, for what she used to do, she, has to, she used to have to wake up super early anyway and keep a, a solid, rigid routine. So I think the key to success and being productive is definitely routine. And that's year round, guys. Darren from Ireland, we've got Jane, obviously mate, we've got Mark, we've got Adam, we've got Cam, so full house of my people, it's quite cool, always quite nice to see, so, I'm going to prep up mate, three and a half weeks out, and for me, five and a half weeks out from mate, we're both very much on schedule right now, condition wise I'm definitely good. Very miles good. ahead of where I was last year. Um, even though probably just as lean, not lean, when I was on stage last time, so I left happy. Um, so, all we're going to do now is push on from here. The plan, the plan and the update, what we're going to do moving forward, is definitely do the one show, and then more than likely we will be taking off the whole of 2022 and coming back in 2023. Simply because, again, I know what I need to do in terms of progress to be prepared. I know exactly all the mistakes that I made last, last off season that have held me back quite a lot. And I know exactly how to rectify them. So I feel like this year will be the most productive off season this year. I say this every year and I make it happen every year and I'll show you guys I'll take it away. You can see it for yourself. As a world I can make it happen. But for now, focus is on Arnold. Focus on getting the ball. So, we shall see the hand session most today. Push up. So, we've been half weeks to get it. Body weight is sitting there. 229 20, pounds this morning. And the look is certainly getting there. I've got a lot of tools left to play with still. So, it's, it's definitely the best position I've ever been in uh, by far. Fatigue is there, but that's normal. Just got to push on. Um, as soon as I get in gym 4 though, as soon as I get it on, flying, so that's the main thing really. 
I still need yeah. to focus on, so five One minutes and get back up. Like, only a very few people understand how this place makes me feel. Like, I could be literally fucking dead on my feet. As I walk on the gym floor, I literally get goosebumps every single fucking time. Like, this place is special in so many ways, so many levels. Ever since the day I've opened it, it always will be and always has been. This is why I love it so much, and this is why I like to spend so much time here as well. Regardless of the situation of where I'm at, like, when I come on the gym floor here, it's on every time. Yep. Good. 
more? Yes. I've only lost the rep, do you know what I mean? I lost the rep on back up, but I've improved on there. And I, ma I matched the first set on here, so it's not bad. I need, I need at least one more week at this volume. Up at, so, so technically for two weeks out. So from two weeks out, I just run baseline volume. But I need to fucking just get through this week now. With this volume, do you know what I mean? To be honest, that works out ideal because then it'll be this is week five since that's deload. Next week's gonna be week six. Then you're gonna need to deload anyway. So, the only reason why she needs to deload is because her strength's just been going through the roof. So, fatigue will peak to a lot higher for her. Whereas with us, it's kind of not gone through the roof. It's kind of just, yeah. With her, it's just gone fucking skyrocketed. She's a fucking machine, that's why. Tell her that Chest down. If I keep my chest down, 
Look at the handles, the handles, okay. the handles, stop the handles, don't go down here. The handles go up here. Okay. So if I keep my chest up, I'm not the way inclined to get the point short okay, here. Okay. Do you know what I mean? What I'm thinking is when you go to contract, so say you keep your chest kind of normal, when you go to contract, then you can up into it now. So when, when you're in the stretch, you're normal, okay? Push yourself to the seat. And as I go to contract, do I lift my chest into it again? No, I just keep an intro. Don't lift your rib cage up, keep your rib cage down. Yeah? See the difference? The hands are down that way. For you to really wrap the shoulder blade around it, but still keep that rib cage down. As soon as you start lifting the rib cage up, it's almost like you need to travel further to get your pet fully short. So the, if the distance has to be further, everything else is going to get involved as well. Do you know what I mean? Just boy up, boy up, boy up.
What up, my people? Very, very good session to be honest. Um, I've had some progression. I repped down on the back off set on first exercise and third exercise, but do you know what? That's a huge win at this point and definitely a lot more detail week to week. Like Mark only sees me in this room every week, once a week, don't you? And the difference today is pretty significant. So um, by next week, we're gonna see even a bigger difference. And then by week after that, we're probably gonna be, you know, touching there about it's ready. So yeah, not too far off. Still got quite a bit to come off from a lower back. So I reckon probably good eight pounds from here, I'd say. Yeah, so, yeah, play it, play it by ear. So, you know, just under four weeks, we're in a good spot. And I know how fast my body drops as well. I, yeah, I, I literally have to stop, stop it from pulling away. So, for me, I think the biggest difference I'm going to notice over the next few days, because I always do it after a high day. Obviously, it's my second day after a high day today. I always get a drop and then second, third, fourth day, it's like plummeting down. So we'll see a big, big change over these next few days, which I'm looking forward to. Um, just need to keep my foot on the gas, keep doing what we're doing, keep making sure routine's locked in the way it has been, as it has been all year, and just keep getting it done. So far, I think definitely happy. Um, definitely better than I was probably on stage last year now, at this point, um, especially with the supplementation side of things, I've got a lot to play with that's actually gonna get me a lot drier. Uh, so I'm looking forward to influencing that and just getting the getting the ship cruised in. I've pretty much got everything planned now. I've got my peak week provision planned, which what I'm going to do obviously, exactly what I'm going to do is going to depend on the day, but I've got an idea of how I'm going to play things anyway, which is all planned and set with training, with everything. So everything's organised, you know, right now it's just time to execute, get shit done, um, and keep pushing forward and keep pushing this motherfucker to keep getting it done, so, yeah. Guys, thank you very much for joining, thank you very much for watching, and plenty more content to come. Um, I am gonna do next video, I'm gonna do it separately. I'm gonna cover exactly how I managed to peak 21 people for the one show, with no stress. So I'll cover that in a bit more detail. Um, give one clue away, everyone has to be ready a week out, which there was, that makes it easiest. And then obviously, it's the other manipulations from then, but I'll touch more on it. Um, on the actual video so looking forward to it guys thank you for watching like and subscribe all that YouTube stuff um, and yeah see you again soon